Hello everyone, this is Bülent and you're here with me listening my brand new podcast series under the name of Smart Talks with Bülent. I have 18 years of experience in customer care, sales and HR functions and now running a consultancy company in London for over 3 years. I'm not an English native speaker as you can guess but I love to create content and why not in English too, so please be kind. It's my very first monologue and today's topic is HR digital transformation. I will take a look at some highlights and these are what is digital transformation, why and goals of it, enabling HR digital transformation, some hot examples across the world and how the digital transformation will impact HR and how we will be able to influence the employees. Let's start then. Digital transformation is defined as the transition of an enterprise which is traditionally based on manual processes to a business with a central technology in all its functions. In addition to digitalization, any change that takes technology to its center also causes a change in the culture and mentality of an organization and this change starts from leadership as usual. HR digital transformation in short is the process of making operational HR processes automatic and data-oriented. According to Deloitte's 2017 Human Capital Trends report, quoting, digital transformation is closely related to how HR teams address challenges such as transforming HR operations and the workforce and also the way the work is done. HR digital transformation is a change that involves the organization as a whole rather than just HR. George Westerman, uh, who is a researcher in MIT, says, quoting, When the digital transformation is done right, it's like a caterpillar that turns into a beautiful butterfly. But when done wrong, all you have is a really fast caterpillar. As a general rule, any HR transformation whether digital or not, must be planned with a clear goal in mind. Often companies still seem to feel peer pressure. All of the competitors are doing digital, so they might think they have to do something about it as well. However, digitalizing HR processes only for this reason may not be very economical. A transformation that is implemented without a proper analysis leads to an expensive implementation that does not meet the real needs of the business. So, what should be the goals of HR digital transformation? For example, automate processes and reduce time spent on repetitive tasks. Maximizing employee experience. To use the time we gain from the operation as an output of a successful digital transformation in strategic works such as improving workforce processes and increasing productivity. So, how about enabling digital transformation in HR? VZA, VZA is a Canadian-based company which provides pre-built analytics solutions to its clients. Dave Weisbeck, the strategy officer of the company, says, What did we misunderstand about the HR transformation? Quoting, I will take a bold attitude here and I will immediately stop the transformation work of any business that is currently undergoing or considering HR transformation if your stakeholders cannot clearly explain why and I suggest you to know how to measure success quantitatively. Actually, this is the first step, asking the right questions at the beginning of the transformation. So, here is some tips for the beginning. Number one. Identify the goal you want to achieve by applying the digital transformation of HR. There should some questions to identify it. Will it make things easier for anyone affected by the process? So, will digital transformation benefit the end user? Can the goals you set be measured? Will it have a positive financial impact on business? Number two, determine with whom to implement this transformation line managers and HR, of course. They should take responsibility for this transformation because any changes with HR practices directly affect the line managers and their teams, of course. Number three, 
Additional resources for the digital transformation process can be hired, if necessary. Probably, you'll need tools and experts to perform the transformation. For example, if you plan to use artificial intelligence for a process, you may need to work with a data scientist. Define a time frame where you will determine if a particular tool is successful. Each process should be given a certain amount of time to show the value to it adds to the company. For example, if you are going to implement a new application tracking system, uh, you will need maybe a quarter of a year and it might be sufficient to tell you if it can provide you a quality candidate database. Number five, determine which processes will come to an end as a result of digital transformation. When you determine the processes to be shelved and when the time comes, reorganizing the structure with a less hierarchy may be required. Number six, prepare your employees for change. A change in HR processes means that all involved stakeholders must be prepared for this change. For example, starting on a small scale can minimize the impact of failure. Implementing feedback and learning from a pilot project to a company-wide project is much better than making mistakes on a large scale. Number seven, last but not least, creating a digitalization culture. The essence of HR's digital transformation is creating a digitalization culture. Accenture CIO Andrew Wilson says, quoting, In order to ensure a smooth digital transformation, it's essential for organizations to put their employees in the first place instead of technology. This allows users to adopt new technology. Let's park it here for a moment. Uh, I will come to Andrew Wilson again soon. So, something went wrong and we couldn't achieve our digital transformation goals. Then again, we have to ask some questions to understand where we made mistakes. We should determine where the troubles are. For example, what are the difficulties which the candidates or the HR faces using the system? We should coach. New technology can be frightening and sometimes negatively affect. Use the data to coach your team to have more positive mindset. Reevaluate the solution you have chosen for digital. Maybe this tool does not serve your purpose. Maybe you need something more advanced or just a different solution. Therefore, it's important to determine the purpose of the solution before, before making an investment. Following these steps can help you move on to the next step or take you back to the sketch. Andrew, the CIO of Accenture, says, quoting, Behavioral change is a critical factor when applying new technology. At the end, it's people who make business successful. And he suggests that HR can help deliver different types of experiences to make learning the tools used in a fun, engaging and effective way. Also, some of the other challenges you may encounter when setting off are lack of a clear strategy or goal for digital transformation, as I mentioned before, lack of budget for digital transformation, lack of expertise in leading the digital transformation project, lack of agility in transition to new digital solutions. These problems are common and handling these issues requires flexibility from HR. And Andrew continues, quoting, HR will have to retrain their employees faster than ever before to keep up with technology trends and practices. Andrew speaks more like a real HR person than an IT guy, doesn't he? This is a very good example that all managers should wear HR shoes at some point. In another source, I read, what you can do as HR experts is to make your organization and your team ready to be involved in this process and to adopt the technology at the highest level. For this, you need to prepare yourself. Be aware, stay up to date, and make sure you know what your competitors are doing in the same area. Monitor the pause of organization and what it says and does. This allows you to start, complete, and progress your vital digital transformation project. And I have very good HR digital transformation examples. 
Unilever has radically changed its recruitment process. Among other things, the company has experimented with social media, online games, and artificial intelligence to digitalize the hires. Another good example is Cisco. The company organized some hackathons to create new HR products like You Belong at Cisco and Ask Alex. You Belong at Cisco is an application that aims to assist new employees and managers during onboarding periods. And the other one, Ask Alex, is a voice comment application that gives in- instant answers to various HR questions such as leave policy or expenses, etc. Brian Kropp, the group vice president of Gartner Research and Consulting, says in an interview, quoting, In a survey, two-thirds of business leaders said that if their company did not digitalize by 2020, it would no longer be competitive. It's scary because, if I'm not wrong, this interview was done two years ago. Do you hear knocking on your front door? Because we are halfway through 2020. Anyway, we have an excuse like COVID-19 now, but isn't that another reason for the acceleration of digital transformation, especially in these kind of force major situations? And Crop continues to tell us, quoting, But in HR, digitalization changes everything from basic functions like the way we hire and develop talent to bringing new loads like increasing performance. We found that 88% of chief HR officers said they should invest in three or more technologies over the next two years. This is a huge undertaking, and it's not surprising that many managers feel completely lost. Is this a warning that we can use to understand where we stand in digital transformation? Anyway, I kept giving examples from companies that already put the technology on their core. But, for example, a very different example, hotel chain Hilton has automated the scanning process to find passive signals of candidate interest. At the heart of the process is an algorithm that Hilton's HR team has created to identify the best candidates based on collecting data from current high-performance employees. They were able to filter the front-end candidates and focus on the best ones. The results prove that when you provide focused information and intelligently guide candidates with digital techniques like this, the number of regrets is reduced by 75... Sorry, yeah, 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 75%. This is a very great improvement. In the interview, there is also good data to convince the managers who resist change. He says that in the last decade, the average number of employees reporting a manager has increased by 50%. This has reduced managers' monitoring capacity on how employees spend their time. Only 18% of employees say their manager understands what their daily work looks like. As a result, if we determine the digital management style, we have the chance to increase the participation of the employees up to 40%, and the rate of retention in the organization up to 20%. Let me give some examples from companies which owe their existence to digital. Airbnb is a huge network that does not own a single property. Similarly, Uber has no single vehicle of its own. Facebook is not just a social network. It's the largest media company, even if it it does not create any content. Alibaba and Amazon are not only the biggest e-commerce companies, but also technology companies that disrupt industry dynamics. It gives us a great example that transformed companies can create new industries. These are the companies that completely recreate consumer experience. So, wrapping things up, how does the digital transformation impact HR? The digitalization of HR will change everything about our way of working, including uh, our career structures, our knowledge, employees, the expectations of employees, and the skills needed to do the job. 
people, uh, especially from the generation Y and Z, but uh, Z to be, of course, there's still a little time for them to dominate the workforce percentage. Uh, they want meaningful stories and they want to be a part of it. They don't wish just a career. Digital transformation creates an all-in-one approach beyond automation with improved business agility, smart services, and a variety of workforce skills. This will increase employee engagement and will result in a new vision of what employee experience can and should be. Yep, that's all for now. Uh, thank you for listening my very first <laughs> podcast. Please feel free to send your comments and if you if you have any questions. My contact info is in the bio of my Instagram account, Smart Talks with Bülent. Thank you again for listening. See you on my next episode. Bye. <laughs>